happening? Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. My name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and welcome to another session of hanging out together, chatting, being creative and generally enjoying ourselves. Just for one hour, we'll park everything else that's going on in the big bad world and we'll um, we'll just keep each other company. How's that sound? Come on in. Is anybody there apart from me? Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, all. Come on in, shut the door. It's a bit of a draft, but there's loads of seating, loads of seating, and the sound is nice and clear. Our Paul's in the building with you, Paul Church, and if you have any questions, then he's your man. Now, let me see. Yeah, it's lovely to have your company. Come on in. Hi, Jill. Um, yeah, Debbie. Good, good. Welcome all you shackers. Right, and we're, um, we're on the colouring and the shading today. Very therapeutic, good for the head, good for the soul. And some of us really are getting quite good at it, aren't we? I see your work on Clarity Worldwide and Groovy Worldwide and you impress me. Yeah, it's so good for you. It's just good for you, you know. So come on in. And it'd be nice to um, to get started this week. What we were doing, we were we we embarked on the new coloring set that that woodland creatures from our friend Mel Turner, and um, oh, someone's got a a, a different name. Um, right, sorry, I shouldn't watch. Let's have a look, and you can see here these were the the coloring set. That we that we started treating ourselves to, so so this is what we're doing. It's a really cool distraction. the The artwork was um, created by Mel, and it was illustrated by D. There's one lovely, um, and then Lisa at work, clever girl, she compiled it for us. So what you got in your set when you get it home to you, um, you've got your inspiration postcards and what you'll find is if I go up close you see the little gray lines in between so it's really nice because if nothing else you can cut this up frame it and send it to someone do something nice do something good we've got the the big a4s which is what we're working on today that's what we started on we started on a nice large one because um contrary to popular belief I think that the larger ones are easier to color in because especially because we were using that trick with our with our cotton bud things, weren't we? That looked really nice. I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, for each one, you've got one of each. There are four different designs, which are rather beautiful, as you know. Loads of you've got them. And we're working on the March hair, this one here, today. Um, but for each one, you've got one um, A4 size, two A5, and then further down here, you've got four A6 for postcard sizes. So these are really cool. These are really nice. And there's loads of mileage. You know, they make a beautiful present for somebody. You know, a lot of us at the moment, we're very distracted with what's going on in Ukraine. And, um, and it's very, very important to um, get busy with your hands. As, is, as I always say, get out of your head and get with your hands. It's very true, you know. It's very true. We'll talk about it later. Let's get started. But what I wanted to just mention was that um, the whole magic of the shack for me, and I think for a lot of you, is not only do we learn tricks and tips and doodling and what have you, not only is it free, not only is it just a bunch of mates all hanging out together being creative, all over the world. That's a really cool, that's such a, an inclusive, lovely thing. We've got friends in Germany. We've got friends in, in, in Australia, in America, in Canada, in Israel, in Africa, everywhere. People come from all over the place, France, you know. Um, I like that. I like that we can get together. It's one of the, one of the best things about the internet is that we can, we can reach out across the water. The other thing about the internet, of course, is that what, whatever's going on in the world, we see it within the minute. And that can, that can cause distress and that can cause anxiety, um, you know. And so it's important that we, 
we hang out, we right size our lives, get it all in perspective. And I'm not saying it would be crazy n n not to think about it or not to, not to, not to take it on board, you know, as, as this catastrophe is unfolding in Ukraine, it would be pretty weird to ignore it or say, I'm not going to think about it because it upsets me. I, I do think about it and it does upset me, the same as everybody else here. But what my point is, that in and of itself doesn't serve any purpose. What we have to do is do something, do something positive. And even, even if it's only thinking positive thoughts, even if it's only that, that's better than thinking negative thoughts. If you just send positive energy, just push positive energy out to the good people, you're doing something positive. You may think, well, that's going to help them a lot. You know what? It does. It does. We'll talk about it later. If you get into this negative vortex, like this negative energy vortex, right, if you do, and I do, and she does, and he does, and they do, and in the end, the whole world is in this big, negative, angry, emotional spin. Nobody's actually doing anything, um, but we're pushing. Can imagine, me on my own, maybe not that significant, but then let's say there are two people in the shack. Hmm, that, that negativity will pack a bigger punch right? Now take Britain. Now that negativity, I bet that makes a wave. And now take Europe. Woof. And before you know it, the whole world is in this massive negative vortex. And if you, if you believe like I do in the law of attraction, you know, that's why I'm saying, even if you're just um, at one today with what we're doing, just calm, calm, positive, enjoying the art, right? That, just that gesture, don't have to do anything else. Just that is better than pushing negative vibes out into the universe. Does that sound hippie enough for you? <laughs> so there we are. For one hour, everybody in the room, we're going to make a concerted effort just to smile. And you know what? From a selfish point of view, better for you too. I was saying it on Monday. If you, if you try to do the, have the best day that you could have today, that's all you've got to do. That's all you've got to do. That's all I've got to do. Let's not worry too much about tomorrow. Let's just do today today, right? So today we're going to have the, the most positive, um, upbeat day that we could possibly have. And then we will go to bed. When we put our head on the pillow, we will have had the best day that we could have had rather than sitting like that in front of the telly, worrying ourselves sick about stuff that we really can't do anything about. Okay, to get it? That means that when we wake up tomorrow, we'll feel better because yesterday was a good day, a decent day. And you turn that round and worry yourself sick today, get tearful, get into it, obsess, obsess about what's happening, right? I, I got caught up a little bit yesterday in the evening. My bad, right? It's, well, none of us are perfect, you know? And then what happens is you wake up anxious because yesterday wasn't so good. So we really, we can, we can train ourselves. It is a trainable thing. And I'm not saying ignore what's going on. I'm not. I'm saying turn that worry and that anxiety into something positive, do you know, yesterday, yesterday, I'm telling you, Jim at work, he spent the whole day drawing, or the day before, a beautiful sunflower stamp. Beautiful, beautiful. Just spent the whole day doing it. I reckon that that did our Jim the power of good. He's a warrior, right? I think it did him a lot of good because all the time he was doing that, he knew that he was doing it for something positive, you know? And then Laurent, he went and made them. He went and made loads of stamps, l like a really big bunch of sunflower stamps because I would declared that we're going to send money, like half the money, to the Red Cross. So we're not going to make much on this. This will just pay the wages. Um, but any profit goes 
straight to the Red Cross. Do you know that we sold, and I, I'm telling you, we sold 100 within, what time did I blog? Four o'clock. It's only been on the blog. After the blog, 130 the last time I looked, 130 of you bought the sunflower stamps. Yep. That's, now we're making waves. Do you see? And it's good. It's positive. It's fantastic. Let me show you them. Let me show you the stamps because they really are quite something. Look. Okay. And I know I digress, but we're going to get back to our woodland creatures. You know, I, I do know how to set my priorities too. Let's have a look. So Jim, he, he ran with what I suggested. Make art, not war. Okay. And... And then I just, just see, it did me the power of good yesterday. I just took the stamps home and I just stamped them up. And I stamped them up and I, I started colouring them in. And, and as soon as I did that, it, I started feeling better. I started feeling good. And so what that means is, right, look at that. We've got Fleur Saima says hi from Pakistan. Well, there we are. Good morning. Um, isn't that amazing? So what I'm saying here is this is powerful now. So, and Paul tells me 149 stamp sets have, have sold so far. Now, every one of those stamp sets, n not only the obvious that the, the money is going to go to the Red Cross, that goes without saying, right? But it has another positive spin on it, it works because everybody that sits, I felt the benefits yesterday. It felt really good. As soon as I started stamping, I thought, one, I could make cards to sell to people, right, uh, to charity. I could make cards to send to people. Just m the message, make heart, not war, right? But even if I didn't do that, if I just sat with a piece of paper and kept stamping out sunflower, sunflowers and the message, Make art, not war. That's the message, people. That's the message. This was Jim's idea. Hats off to Jim. You know, big shout out for Jim. And he's at home at the moment because his little girl had COVID. Now his wife's got COVID, so uh, fill in the gaps, you know. But he did this, and I'm proud of him. Colours, appropriate colours. Right. So, Paul, I'm sure that Paul will put up the link because this is so important, people, so important. And this is something that we can do. You know, you can't sit at home and say, oh, there's nothing I can do except watch the news and panic. Well, do you know what? Watch the news and don't panic is better than watch the news and panic, but it's not easy. And and if you get some stamps and you start stamping up these, look, put them in your windows. Do you, do you do affirmations? Do you do affirmations? I'm a big one for that. I'm a big one for affirmations. I've got them all over my house. You know, um, like the positive, this too shall pass is, is everywhere. I'm in, and stay calm. <laughs> and I make these little... Um, just little arty on the stamp board and they're in the bathroom by the mirror and they're they're in by the loo and they're they I put one next to Dave's uh bed that says stay calm it's just a guy standing there like you know just little affirmations you know they were so important one I remember years ago when my the the father of the children he left and it was a difficult situation um, and I put, I got these little pieces of paper like this. They were this size. I didn't, you know, and I wrote on every, I wrote it all over the place. And I wrote on it, it is never the event, but how you respond to it that will ultimately affect you. Mm -hmm. And I, I, uh, and I put it everywhere in the house, everywhere. <laughs> I, honestly, next to my bed, when I was brushing my teeth, first thing in the morning, last thing at night. And uh, and it's it's like it's in under my skin now. It's there. It is never the event, but how you respond to it that will ultimately affect you.
got me through that ugly period, got me through lots of scrapes, that one. It's just a way of life in my head now. It's never the event, it's how you respond to it that will ultimately affect you. I sound like a record that's got stuck, but it's so true. Right, so I'm going to hang on to my blue and yellow, my Ukraine colours, and I've got my, my sunflower stamp. And when I get despondent or tearful, I've got to turn it round. See? But now, you are my focus. And we are doing the woodland creatures. So, let's have a look. This is the set. And last week, what we did was, do you remember, we had so much fun. And we did this lovely um, uh, dotting. It was a really nice, funky background. And we used our um, cotton buds. And I'll just get it out for you. Uh, ink on a mix mat. And then we dot, dot, dotted. So I've still got my mix mat. It looks a little bit dry, but you can see I, I, I can just revitalize that color with a little bit of water and I can go again. But I don't want to do that because I need it to be dry. We can add more color after. But for now, I've got enough. So that was a really nice technique. I know you enjoyed it. And so what we did last week, this is the one that I did on Sunday. You see now, I did this sitting in front of the telly because I couldn't concentrate on what was on the television. I'm massively distracted with things at the moment. And so I thought, well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something good. This is positive, you see. It's all about the law of attraction. So I did something good. And while I was doing this, I was thinking to myself, they'll love doing that. They'll love this. They'll enjoy this. You see, there's a lot to be said for thinking about others. So what we did on Monday, we started with the dib, dib, dib and the dob, 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 didn't we? And we put the colours in very, very roughly. We kind of avoided the hairs, you see. And it looks a bit ropey at the moment. I know, well, it's a work in progress, friends. Look, see. So what we did was, just to recap, hang on, we... We put the lines in where the trees are because actually when you look at the artwork itself, the lines aren't there. We had to put them in, didn't we? Let me see if I can show you what I mean by that. If I, if I show you the actual... Have I got another one? Oh, let's have a look. I bet I have. The trees aren't actually... They're all the same like that. There you go. There's a, there's a big... There. So if you look at the lines on the trees, they're not actually there. So what we did was, the first thing we did was we introduced depth. Do you see? We did that on that before we even added the dib, dib, dib and the dob, dob, dob with the cotton buds. Okay. So that's where we started. That's where we're at now. And that's where we're headed. Oh, it's a good job the bus driver knows where we're going. <laughs> hey. Yeah, so <laughs> Laurent's been making these stamps all morning, these sunflower stamps, bless him. It's all right, you know. It's all right. It's a good thing. It's positive. It's important to stay upbeat and keep our energy positive. So now let's get started, shall we? So you've got, we, we should have this. And then what I did do was I, I sort of, I've got my, my pencils that I'm going to use or what I fancy using. And the first thing I want to do, I'm going to go in with the grey. Have you got any light grey? Have you got a light grey pencil? It's up to you if, what colour light grey. I've got a really light, light grey one down the bottom there. There it is. A little bit on the short side. That'd be all right. There. Okay. But I do like this kind of, I do like this effect, this arty effect. Let's go in a bit closer so we can see better what we're doing. All right, everybody happy? Are we all right? Let's have a look. I'm going to put my other glasses on. That will help. That will help. Right, and now we will begin. So what do we need? Well, we need a, we need a pencil sharpener and we need 
pencils, greys. Let's get started with the greys. And I'll keep the one that I did, the, the one that I've already done. Where have I put that? I don't mean just now. How can I have lost that? Hang on. I've got that one. There it is. <laughs> right. The first thing we're going to do, this is massive distraction, but it's good for you. See this this bush here see this one here well let's let's make that pop so what we'll do is you see if you look at this one it kind of disappears the the line art on these are deliberately not cartoony they're very fine line so that means that you they almost disappear when you start adding color you see so what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on this piece here, because then, of course, this piece is exactly the same as that bit, but let's do this one, okay? And we'll start with a light light pencil. What's always, a, what's always a good idea is to have a piece of card that's the same stuff next to you, so you can see what you're doing while you when you start. And so what we're gonna do, let me just show you. I'm gonna go into this area here, with the lightest pencil, and then I'm going to feather out. So you go, you chisel in, and then you, you feather out with the lightest pencil. Don't press too hard. So you just dig in, not dig, wrong word, and then feather out. So you're going to go along that line. But let me just do a couple of them, and you'll see where I'm actually going. I'm going into the leaf. I'm actually going up the vein of the leaf. It's quite nice. So you go along there like that, and then you just feather it out. So I'm going to go again. Let me show you. Let me do a couple and then I'll come in close. So you go down like that and you follow that line. And what you'll find is when you do this, look, go down there, follow the line down the branch. And as soon as you start to do this, your mind will stop racing. It's like a meditation. It will clear your head. It will clear your head. All these things are positive. There we are. So you just go in and then you can feather out the color. Now, let me just come in close and then I'll, I'll come in really close so you can see it. Can you see that okay? Yeah? And then what we'll do is we'll, I'm going to, I'm actually going to come in really tight on this so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Is that better? Let's have a look. Let me just look at the screen. Yes. Yes, exactly. So you'll see from this that what I'm actually doing, I'm going, let me show you where I've gone in with a dark pencil afterwards. I've gone all the way along. I'm going right into the vein of the leaf. You see? Right in there like that. And then that way, right in there, like that. See, I could keep going like this till the cows come home. And the whole idea with this is it will make the artwork, well, make the artwork um, layered. It gives you, it gives the artwork layers, but also. It distracts your mind. It reframes your thinking. While you're doing this, it doesn't matter what we're doing together. But what does matter is that we do something. Do something, right? So that's why I, with the sunflowers yesterday, it, it, it kind of it put me in touch with Ukrainian people. It just did. It connected me. And it kind of established where I stand very much you know it established where I stand I mean the Russians don't want this my 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 lad Mark his best friend Fred I've known Fred since he was a lad up, little boy and he married a Russian girl last year or the year before and Mark went to Russia he went to Moscow 
um, to the to the wedding. So they're amazing people, beautiful people. And Diana, the 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 young Russian bride, and her child and Fred, they live in Tunbridge Wells now. They came to us for Christmas. She's a beautiful girl, beautiful. What a sweet natured, switched on, lovely kid. And and her parents, uh, they live in Moscow, and um, they're dentists. I mean, pro really lovely, lovely people, you know. As soon as this started happening, I contacted Fred and Diana. And she's beside herself. She's beside herself, you know. How worrying must this all be? And, you know, whilst we say it must be a lot more worrying for the Ukrainians, I say... It's terrible for the Russians as well, you know. Good God. So, yeah. So I think I'll get her over to do some pottery because I know that she will appreciate the distraction. And she'd said that she would really love to get on the wheel and have a few hours. So I think I'll get them to come over and I'll make a nice meal. And then I'll teach her how to do pottery because I'm telling you, while she's on that wheel, she won't be thinking about anything other than the clay. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> and that will be good for her. That will be good for her, you see? Yeah. Poor kid. <laughs> so you see how we're putting the, the with the, the lightest grey, and then what you can do is to make it not look quite so stripy, I'm just going along generally now, and and I'm I'm kind of staying on the undercarriage of the leaf, if you like, like that. And it's got a bit of a chisel on it. What are those things that I always use? Hang on a minute. God, it's getting a bit warm in here now. It's either hot or it's cold. Mind you, with those electric bills that oh, 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 oh. Has your electric bill gone up? Like our electric bill's gone up. Golly. Yeah, I'm going to start turning the lights off everywhere now. <laughs> start using some of those candles we've got for Christmas. Good grief. And when they said that the, the price of um, gas was going up and electric, I thought, yeah, well, you know, it is as it is. And then when I saw the bill, I said, how much? Are you kidding? That's a bit extreme, isn't it? Yeah. God. Anyway. Anyway, it is what it is. Right, let's get that. Of course, it's nice and quiet in here now. Right. There we are. See, so you're getting that shadow going, and you, you stay underneath the branch or just either side, really. But the idea is to just establish a shadow first. See? When you're doing that, when you're doing that, there we go. There, like that. I was reading something in the, was it? In the, online, I read something about the Russian um, ice skaters. Um, that they're not allowed to take part in the um, competition. They've been barred from participating in, in, I don't know, is it, it can't be, is it still the Olympics? Anyway, they've been barred. And, and I thought, and, but the way it was written, it was really, it was, you know, semantically, what it said was um, the Russian and Belarus ice skaters, no, it said the ice skaters from Russia and Belarus who have been involved and, no, 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 the Russian, it said something to the tune of the ice skaters from Russia and Belarus who are supporting the invasion of Ukraine have been banned from taking part in the competition. 
And I thought, the ice skaters who are in support, it was the way the commas in the wording, see the old wordsmith, the linguist in me. And I, I had to take it, I had to read it again, because I thought, surely not the ice skaters. Then, but what they meant was Belarus is in support, not the ice skaters. But the way it was written semantically or syntactically, whichever way you want to read it, um, it, it actually said that the ice skaters were in support. And I thought, well, I don't know if the ice skaters are, you know, I'm sure they're not, in fact. I, I mean, I don't know, but I doubt it. And I thought, cool, talk about adding insult to injury. First of all, they've been training all their lives for this beautiful, this fabulous competition. And let's face it, the Russians are pretty good on the ice, right? Then not only are they not allowed to participate, but now they've been told, oh, they also support the, they also support the invasion. And you think, cool, I hope they didn't read that in the English newspaper because they wouldn't be impressed. <laughs> you know, oh, God, blimey, as if it couldn't get any worse. Yeah, it's funny how you read things when the commas are in the wrong place. Hmm? There, how's your, have you got your, your shading? See, and this is the light pencil, okay. So you can do a bit of light penciling, All right? We've got that. And then sometimes we've missed a little bit so you, you see it because it's still quite bland then it's still quite light you just go in again there we are cool i look forward to this this morning i did i looked forward to this this morning because i thought this is exactly what the soul needs it's just a little bit of focus you know have you ever have you ever heard of the law of attraction? The law of attraction. This is what I was talking, I touched on it a little earlier. I often speak about things in, in, in sort of roundabout terms. So the law of attraction. It means what it what it talks about in, in rough rough terms is that what you put out into the universe it will come, it's what you attract. It's the law of attraction. So, so for example, if you worry a lot about bills or money, right, and you keep saying, oh, don't send me more bills, don't send me more bills, all the universe keeps hearing is bills, and all you're going to get back is bills, right? So you have to be very careful how you put things, not even that, how you think things, because the way you think things are the way you speak things. You know, there's that old, um, that old saying, you know, watch what you, watch what you think, because what you think become words. Watch what you say, because your words become actions. You know that one? And, um, and so the whole, the thoughts and the words and the actions, the, the, the power of the law of attraction is that, right, I'm going to go to a darker pencil now, a darker grey to intensify this, right? So we'll go to a darker grey, maybe slightly sharper. Let's have a look. And then we'll kiss the edge. We're going to kiss the edge of the, see? See, it gets darker. Put the grey one there. We can always come back to the lighter one. So, yeah, so the law of attraction, what, it's, what it tells you is there are kind of three basic principles. Um, and the first one is that we're, really we're like magnets. I might sharpen this. So what you put out there is what you get back. And that goes back to what I was saying about positivity you know, about earlier I was saying about our collective energy, you know, that if we get caught into this in this negative kind of energy vortex, then we're much greater than the sum of our parts. You know, you think that you're on your own having a negative moment, but actually it's it, it does become an energy like, a, you know. And so so the law of attraction says that what we what we should try to do, because we're like magnets, is be very very mindful of how we how we um, think about things 
and then also how we voice our our, our thoughts you know and and what you you know what you envisage or what this is the law of attraction now what you picture in your mind or what you is what you will attract you'll get more of what you what you picture in your mind so if you worry about money and you keep worrying about your electric bill and you see even now I'm not worried about my electric bill because I'm not going to worry about my electric bill because um, it will be fine. It is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. It will be fine. Money is pouring in. Not really, but I'm going to envisage it. It will be fine. And I'm going to be more frugal. You know? But you've got to kind of, it's not going to make your dreams come true, the law of attraction, but you can, you can direct your energy, can't you? Do you see? And it's the same, that's the, one of the main principles really is that we're like magnets and we, we attract what we, what we envisage really. So I think you say, for example, I'm just going to, I'm just going to tease this, this colour now into the base of all the leaves, you see? So it's just a bit of colour in the base of the leaf, the grey, rather than a colour. Um, and we'll go through all the leaves now. It's going to look so nice. Right, ready? Um, yeah, so you've got to be careful. You've got to watch your thoughts because they become your words. And you've got to watch your words because they become your actions. This is nice, look. And you've got to watch your actions because they become your habits. If all you do is moan about something, then you get in the habit of moaning. That's what you do. If all you do is complain or obsess about the neighbor, then that becomes your habit. That's all you do then. If all you do is bitch about where the neighbour parks his car, then that would become your habit and your obsession. Every time you look out the window, the first thing you do is look for his car. <laughs> In fact, it doesn't really matter where he parks. It's a road. So, so you've got to watch your actions because they become your habits. And then you've got to watch your habits because they become your character. That becomes a part of you then. So the habits turn into your character. And you must watch your character because that, my friends, becomes your destiny. So you've got a lot more control over your life than you think you do, you see? And today, if you make up your mind, to do something positive, you're taking charge of your destiny in a way. You see? You're not getting caught up. You're not at the mercy of the media. You're not at the mercy of what people are feeding you. Don't, don't be at the mercy. Don't be a victim. You're not the victim. You can do something about it. You can, you know. Don't be worrying endlessly about things that you can't control. Do something positive. This is positive just now. The fact that we're all in, all together, all just hanging out together, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, I missed this one. We're hanging out together. And we're thinking positivity. We're sending out good vibes, energy, good energy good energy. That's so important. Good energy is so important. You know, the, the press have got a lot to answer for. I know they want to tell us all about what's going on, but by the same token, I don't know that it's such a, it's not healthy. It's not that I don't want to know, it's that I know that it's not healthy from a, from a spiritual point of view. It's not healthy. It's not good. 
And so I can't control what the news readers do. I can't, they go, you know, they, they're told what to read, aren't they? I'm just looking for a rubber. I can't control what they do, but I can control how often I switch it on and buy into it, you know, can't I? Who could knew? So that's why I said yesterday, or no, not yesterday, not so hard. If you go too hard with a rubber, you end up grinding the pink, in the pink into the card. Um, because I said yesterday, didn't I, when we were talking, I said, breathe, stay busy. You see, and it all comes, it all comes back to the law of attraction. It actually does. Even what I was saying in a very simple way on Monday, breathe, stay busy, get with your hands, right? Don't obsess over the news, write a gratitude list. See the gratitude list, what that does is it redirects your thinking into positivity, you see? And again, that's all part, that's all part of the law of attraction. Because what you're doing is you're redirecting your thinking. You're getting getting on that positive, positive energy is what we need. Make heart, not war, you see? There you go. So quite the opposite, really. When you think, well, we're just sitting here, we're not, we're, what are we, we're not helping, we're not, we're not doing anything, because all we're doing is sitting here colouring in. Well, actually, my friends, we are helping. We are helping, because we're, we're changing the channeling, we're changing the energy, okay? Just hold that thought. There you go. See how it pops out, doesn't it? It's cool. I love it. So I hope I haven't gone on too much about it. Well, who else am I going to talk to apart from you? Hey? That's the way it is at the moment. Now, let's see. Right. It's going with another darker pencil now. So we've got light, medium, and dark. Let's just go into with a darker one. Now, this one is the real dark one, so I've sharpened it a bit. And this one, we're going to go, again, just along that edge. That's it. And you'll see that if you just stay right close to the edge, it will look really, it makes it pop. Really lovely. Can you see this all right? What grey am I using, I hear you ask. Well, let me see. The first one was cold grey 2. The second one was cold grey 3. And this one is warm grey 5. Doesn't matter, does it? It's just darker, okay? Warm grey 5. I could use cold grey 5, I suppose, if I could have found it. It's not important. What is important is that you stay right at the tip of this pencil with your thoughts. That's important. You see, because that, my friends, will really calm your mind. It's therapy, isn't it? Just cheap therapy, really. <laughs> Yeah, be all right. It'll be all right. Nice. So when you talk about the law of attraction, see, I'm going around the outside of the leaves as well now. I've done the inside of the leaves. Now I'm going around the outside of the leaves. So I'm going to just jump between. Oh, I think I want to use the lighter pencil, the little rinky-dink one. And I'm going to put a shadow on the bottom underneath. That'll make it jump nicely. So just go round and round like that. That's it. Just gently does it. Bring that in like that. There we are. Okay, cool. So, law of attraction. The second principle of the law of attraction. I'll tell you about that as well while we're on it. Right? The second principle of the law of attraction is that 
nature is a bit obscure, but I'll get there. I'll explain it to you. Nature abs it abhors a vacuum. It, if, you, if you give it a gap, it will fill it. You know what we're like. We do, don't we? And, and so, so let me put it in simple English. Let me, let me paraphrase it for you. If you. It's like decluttering, you see. If you, if you lay yourself open, you have to be careful that you don't fill your head with, with worrisome stuff and negativity. It's very easy to do. So what you have to do is you declutter, you get rid of all the negativity, but then you're very quick, you have to be very quick to fill it with something positive. You know when I say stay busy, stay with your hands, what I mean is if you just, if you don't make a plan and, and do something positive, even if it's peeling the potatoes, you know, peeling the carrots, making a meal, filling the dishwasher, emptying the dishwasher, anything, right? As soon as you do something like that, what you need to do is, is fill the gap with positivity. In other words, it's like decluttering your, your when you declutter your, um, your, your art room, right? You know, when you, you know when you have a sort out and you, you declutter it, don't you feel better afterwards? Because you put everything, you've you've put everything in um in a tidier spot, and you know where everything is, and you've got you feel real positive about things, don't you? It's like when you sort out your knicker drawer or your you know or your or your sock drawer. I always love I love getting all the socks and pairing them all up and making them all neat and putting them all in a little row, and it's a positive action. It's and also it, it makes you feel like you've got a little bit of control over your life. Um, but nature, in and of itself, abhors a vacuum. Therefore, when you when you're all cluttered up, when your thoughts are cluttered up, and your if your thinking is cluttered, you're laying yourself wide open to negativity. That's what I mean. So, so it's like you've got to be quite vigilant around. It's the thoughts again. And I found that recently, because I've been so busy at work as well, I found that I was I was running from one job to another, you know, with the new telly opening up. And I just found that I've been, you know, and, and running a business at the moment through COVID has been a bit of a challenge, all that stuff, right? And so what I, I wasn't vigilant, there's the word, I wasn't vigilant about my thinking. And I was just running from one thing to another. And I wasn't, I wasn't meditating. I wasn't tidying up my stuff. I was, it was almost like I was in, in a spin, properly in a spin. I wrote about it several times in the, um, in my blog. And I said, do, do you know what I mean when I say that? You know, you just, you, 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 you're not on your guard. You, and it makes you very vulnerable because what you you you're allowing worrisome things in, and and then before you know it, I, I was waking up with chest pains all the time, and I thought, what's going on now? But what's interesting is, as soon as I I kind of I identified it was the chaos that was causing the chaos, right? And as soon as I stopped, I thought, okay, back it up tidy up and stop spinning because if you if you don't stop and regroup and reframe it's it's perpetual right and as soon as I stopped and you don't have to, I don't have to take a week off work it starts with a knicker drawer literally you just start with one little drawer and you start living in the solution so as soon as you do that what you're telling your subconscious mind is right I'm taking it back now you know, I'm not at the mercy of my surroundings and what's going on <clears throat> in my time, not in that time, in my time. And so you just take it back and you start, you know, I find sometimes when I'm really anxious and this is we've had two years of this now, friends, and now we've got more of it coming. Even just to go and sort out the cutlery in the drawer, 
put all the big knives together and all the little knives and the, do you see what I mean? That too helps. You get it? Um, it just, it calms me down. And, and then gestures like the shack, they're massively helpful to me, massively helpful because it means I can build my routine around you, good people. Um, the sunflower stuff, I know that for, for, for Jim, I know exactly the process that it was for him, very, very cathartic. And then, and now for, for Laurent making them and for, for Debbie cleaning them, it, it, there's a, it's really good. And, and I know when you start using them, it will be the same process. And the colouring, it's the same kind of thing. It means you're taking time out of your life to do something that you want to do that is good. It's good for you. It's good for the head, you know. And the fact that you're learning how to colour in and do beautiful artwork is just a bonus. That's just the bonus. This is much more powerful than that. That's what I think anyway. And I mean, I'm no shrink, I'm no psychologist, but but I do know a little bit about the law of attraction. So, and then the third thing is, is what we're always talking about, what we're always talking about, and that is about staying in the present. What one says, what they say in Taoism is that the present is always perfect. See, it doesn't matter what is going on anywhere, right? The present, right now, right now, this second, oh, no, this second, oh, no, this second, right now is perfect. Provided I feed it with positivity, you see? You can do loads of things. You know, random acts of kindness. So much we can do. But if now is perfect, then now is perfect. Oh, and now is perfect. Oh, and now. And so, you see, sometimes I catch myself really in a dark place in my head. And I have to pull myself up sharp. And I do. I pull myself up sharp and I say, oh, hang on a minute, Gray, get a grip. You don't want to be down that road. It serves no purpose. It's not good for you. Not good for anybody. So law of attraction. You're, it's a magnet. You're a magnet. You're a magnet for what you think. Okay. What you put out there, it will come back to you. Declutter your life. I mean, I sometimes think about those, you know, the those wise men that sit at the top of the mountain, you know. They haven't, they're not cluttered with material things. You know, they sit at the top of the mountain, they seem very happy. It's us at the bottom of the mountain that are running around like, I think you said blue ass flies. <laughs> it's us that's running around like blue ass flies. You know. They're sitting in the top. Mind you, I'd have to practice the cross-legged thing. Can you do? Can you cross your legs? I can't cross my legs. Paul can cross his legs. If I cross, if I sit on the floor and cross my legs, I can't get up. <laughs> Mind you, I couldn't cross my legs as a kid either. So I'd make a, a rubbish um, Buddhist monk. <laughs> I'd be the one. Spot the odd one out. I'd be the one sitting on the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Barbara. <sighs> right. Okay. Paul's just told me that I said blue eyes fly twice. Yeah, I know. I said it thrice. <laughs> oh, what a rebel. There we go. See how it makes it jump, though? And now the field and the tree have been pushed to the back. See? I think that's great. And if you wanted to brighten up those, this is another thing, see, if you wanted to actually brighten up the leaves, so you can take, you can take colored flat to colored pencils and you can add a little fla a flash of color. See that? See how they, that makes them jump as well. If you wanted to, I'm going with yellow because I'm in, I'm in Ukraine mode here, right? But you see how you can, you can actually add 
color to the and what's nice is it hasn't got to be exact and precise because of course we've used our cotton bud art in the background so what we're doing is just adding highlights you see look which is good and when you put these pencils over the top of the blues and the teals and the greens it changes color so that's worth thinking about too so if we have a look now you see exactly how it's coming together and we've missed a few as well so you can see as you go through so you're going to have to scan let's scan the leaves so i'm going to take the light color now and i'm going to scan the leaves i haven't got anything on that one either it'll be all right you know this too shall pass everything does but the present now 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 that's what we've got to focus on honestly it's all we can focus on what are you doing after the shack come on make a plan what have you got lined up and do not tell me you're going to watch the news all day don't be glued to the news all day because then by this evening you will not be in a good place and you will be pouring negative energy into a very negative vortex don't do that think about something what can you do what can you do that's positive hey what can you do that's positive? Make some art. Go and make some birthday cards. Do something creative. Learn something. Go on YouTube. Find out. A, find a really good arty. Find something good to follow. Clarity Stamp. There you go. Clarity Stamp YouTube. We've got hundreds, hundreds of tutorials. Hundreds of them. I've been doing them for years. YouTube Tuesday, we did it for years. Hi, my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Honestly, there are hundreds of them. Jim and I used to, I used to make them. He used to record them. He used to edit them every week. It was like, so there's loads of lovely distraction there. If you fancy that, get your jelly plate out. I've got loads of really cool videos on the jelly plate. Hmm? Have a declutter, sort out your cutlery drawer, line the cupboards, do what it takes. Listen to good music. But don't worry, don't get into that spin. Stay busy, hey, stay busy. Finish this. Tell you what you could do. Between now and Monday, what's today, Thursday? Look how it starts to jump when you do this. So cool. So how about this then? If you, I'll give you a bit of homework so you've got something to do. Yes? What I want you to do is do the other side of the rabbit, of the hare. So we've done that bit, right? And what I want you to do is do that bit. There you go. 163 sunflower stamps are sold now. That makes me feel, that gives me hope. There you go. That's, that's uplifting, isn't it? Yeah. So what I want you to do is do these bits here. There's your homework. All right. And then on Monday, what we'll do on Monday, we'll tackle the, the trees. We'll tackle the trees with greys and shadows and we'll bring out the, we'll bring out the, bring out the Branston. <laughs> no, we'll bring out the shadows. Okay. We'll do this on Monday though, together. And we'll just start going down here and it'll be lovely. 
So, so stay busy. Be cool. Stay busy. Be cool. Stretch your neck. Go on. Be kind to yourself. And don't be feeling guilty that you're in a good place. You know? No, no, no. You need to be in a good place. You need to be putting out that lovely, good, positive, be kind, being kind is cool kind of energy. That's where you need to be, okay? Because you don't know what's around the corner. So you want to be in a good space when it does arrive, don't you? Hey, eh? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now, what we've got going on this week, let me see. Ah, right, tomorrow, moment of clarity at three o'clock. I'm here to keep you company. So at three o'clock tomorrow, because it was a little bit chaotic on the telly last Friday, can you believe that was a week ago? Wow. Anyway, things are calmed down there now. I do know that. But what I decided to do was, um, because many of you couldn't find the channel and so on, and Sky wasn't on, and Virgin wasn't on, and yada, yada, yada. It is now. But what we'll do is, on Facebook Live at three o'clock tomorrow, um, I'm going to take those stamps and do the demos that I didn't get to do last week that, and, and many of you didn't see. So I just thought we'd have a little session. I'll show you the stamps because they didn't sell. I'll show you the stamps. I'll show you what you missed last week and we can do it in, in, in Facebook time. Yeah, so that's at three o'clock tomorrow. That'll be fun. And then uh, on Sunday, I'm up at the studios, uh, Create and Craft. Maybe, Paul, you'd be good enough to, um, to put up the different um, channels where we are now. Uh, that would be great. So, But the times have changed, and I'm on from 3 till 5. So it's from 3 o'clock till 5 o'clock on the new Create and Craft channel. That's on Sunday. Uh, I'll wait till I show. I can't. I can't. I'm not. You got to. Sometimes surprises are nice. You don't get many good surprises. This is going to be a lovely one. Wait till you see on Sunday. Okay. I may. I may have to blog it. Maybe can't contain myself. Anyway, they're really nice. <laughs> really good. So that's that's Sunday, three to five. And then what else have we got? I wrote something down. We've got three, three to five. Then on Monday, Paul's jumping into the breach and he's got uh, a seven o'clock show and a 12 o'clock, seven in the morning, early doors, um, seven o'clock and 12 o'clock uh, on Create and Craft. And then at one o'clock, he's on the new channel, the Create and Craft Extra because they've got another channel. And he's going to be um, presenting some beautiful artwork there. And then at the same time on Monday, of course, it's us in the shack. And we're going to be doing our, our trees, our protective, beautiful boughs. Okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to make a lovely canopy, a lovely, gentle, soft, shady canopy. That's what we're going to do. And it's not a sandwich with no crust. <laughs> <It's this bit. laughs> okay so have a lovely thursday do something good do something positive just keep remembering to th be careful what you think because you think your thinking becomes your words and then your words become your actions and your actions become your habits and your habits become your character and then your character becomes your destiny. So it all starts with the thinking. All right? Lots of love. Have a great day. Do you know what? That, what I've just said, that was written thousands of years ago. I don't know. Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu, Taoist. Right? Uh, wouldn't that be lovely? You know the way we do the lettering with the, 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 the um, when we straddle the, the letters? You know, like we did... I've got it here, like this. Wouldn't that be lovely? You know, watch your thoughts. They become your words. Watch your words. They become your actions, et cetera, et cetera. You could do a whole little core. Listen, you arty people out there. That would make a beautiful, like a journal, you know, and in each page, watch your thoughts. They become your words. And then on the next page, what's your words? They become your 
actions and then on the next page and that make a beautiful little diary journal kind of thing hmm? so there you go just a thought in case you're lost because sometimes we do go it does go that way it's almost like analysis paralysis in the end you overthink things to the point where you can't do anything you just want to eat and watch the news don't go there all right lots of love thanks paul for your help and uh, and i'll see you hopefully tomorrow in the shack doing a moment of clarity at three o'clock in the afternoon and don't forget to get that sunflower stamp set mm -hmm. it's for a very very good reason and not just the red cross lots of love bye bye